Welcome back to the shipyard and another review corner. Today, the IRW Galga Thong. Yeah, we're going way back in time. Wave 3, February of 2014. Such a long time ago. This is an 18 point Romulan bird of prey. 2, 2, 3, 2. It's filler, but it, it's interesting filler. It has Evade, Target Lock, Cloak, and Echo on the action bar, which is basically what you figure from all of your Romulan ships that cloak. And unfortunately, it has two crew and two weapon slots, meaning no tech. Boy, does that hurt the faction. It, it's this and the Valdor class that just don't have tech, and, and you scratch your head for, for a faction that's so dependent on tech. They... I have so many ships that don't have enough tech slots. The named ability. When initiating an attack while cloaked, you may fire plasma torpedoes without needing a target lock. That's a pretty good ability. It means you can have a target lock and use it for quality, or you can just fire plasma torpedoes and you're good to go. With the advent of general orders... And Admiral Mendak, there's some ways to get battle stations for even more quality. There's plasma torpedoes that have five attack dice. The Galgathon still has a, a place in the game. And uh, if you've watched the Build Academy where I do the Suicide Reliant, that was born out of doing a Suicide Galgathong, uh, which you saw on my Klingon Civil War OP3 baiting the Romulan videos. The ship is still playable even today. Uh, in some ways, it's more playable today than it ever was. Uh, the generic, of course, loses a shield named ability, and it loses a weapon slot, which is better than losing a crew slot. So, so that much is good. I still think this ship is best suited for disruptor beams. That's the weapon that gives you five attack dice and doesn't need a target lock. Disruptor pulse is also interesting on this one. And that's all because you're not giving up a lot of attack dice. So putting secondary weapons on low attack dice ships is always a good investment. It's a good place to do stuff. The maneuver dial here is also fantastic. The only red is the three come about, and it has two and three hard turns as white. Yeah, it only goes up to a four straight, but eh, we can make that work. So this was one of those weird packs in the early day, not so weird now, that only came with one captain, and that is Romulan Commander, skill 7, two talent slots, cost 5 points. Action. During the combat phase this round, your ship attacks before every other ship. Place an ox power token beside your ship. I like the ability because it doesn't specify a skill number, so you're guaranteed to shoot first. The downside is it's an action, and this is on Romulan ships for the most part that just don't have the actions to spare. In fact, most of the time, you're not going to have an action to spare to do this. And skill 7 is typically high enough that you can already make this work. Romulan Commander, neat idea. Skill 7, good. Two talent slots, definitely rare. But just not the ideal setup for him. We do get several upgrades in this pack. The first is double back. It's an elite talent, five points. After performing a sensor echo action, you may discard this card to immediately perform a one or two reverse. That's good, but the new Romulan talent that lets you do a reverse anytime you want is better. Much, much better. This is nice to be able to do as add-ons, but I, I think for this to be any good, it would need to not be a discard and just let you keep on doing it anytime you did a sensor echo. But eh, we'll uh, eventually get the cheese to sick bay and, and fix it. Our other talent is decoy, four point unique. When defending before any dice are rolled, you may discard this card in any of your weapon or tech upgrades to force your opponent to roll three less attack dice this round. There's definitely potential here. But there's cheaper ways to do this more effectively with total attack cancellation. 
And that's what concerns me, and that's why this doesn't see much play. But in the right kind of build, this can be an extra piece. It's certainly a cheaper conditional surrender. Uh, it reminds me more of Ibex Dynasty than anything else, but it doesn't add any slots. So a uh, decoy could, could see some potential. We get two crew. First is Centurion, 4-point non-unique, when one of your crew upgrades or your captain is to be disabled or discarded. You may discard this card instead. So he's a little harsh in that he has to be discarded to prevent a disable. A discard for a discard prevention is fine, but he's still an interesting additional use of crew. Yes, Goval, Beverly Crusher, they're both cheaper, but Centurion works if you need even one more time of doing that. Overpriced, yeah, for sure, but a viable option uh, when you're out of all of your other options. Also, Centurion's non-unique, whereas Goval and Bev Crusher, unique cards, so uh, at least you can keep on going. The other crew is Romulan Officer, unique, five points. Action, discard this card. If you initiate an attack while cloaked this round, add plus two attack dice. You cannot roll any defense dice this round. If you could still roll defense dice, it would be potentially okay, but losing your defense dice while cloaked, because you have to do this while you're cloaked, that's way too much of a loss. Way too much. So yeah, Romulan Officer, absolutely terrible. Uh, I don't think anyone's run him ever in any competitive game that I've seen. Uh, somebody may have done it at some point, but there's no reason to run him. We get two weapons. The first is Nuclear Warhead. Three-point, non-unique, action. At the end of the activation phase, discard this card to place a minefield token within range one of your ship, but not within your forward firing arc, and not on top of another ship. If a ship enters the minefield on a future turn, roll three attack dice. Any hit or criticals damage the ship as normal. The affected ship does not roll any defense dice. So these are a little worse cloaked mines, except they can't be reduced. And that's why they don't see play. Also, they take an action to put on the board. Yeah, if you're desperate for uh, additional mine tokens, then uh, go ahead and use this card. Really, I would advise you to stay away. And of course, there are plasma torpedoes in this pack. Uh, these ones cost you three points, give you four dice, range one to two, attack target lock, spend your target lock, disable this card to perform the attack. You may reroll all of your blank results one time. You may fire this weapon from your forward or rear firing arcs, but uh, most Romulan ships don't have a rear firing arc, so that point is moot. Uh, of course, you can bring it on something else, but uh, those are meant for the Galgathon. Uh, I prefer the uh, bigger version of them, which cost four points, give you five attack dice. And then you do have a target lock left when you use the Galgathon's named ability so that you can reroll your battle stations because that extra bit of quality might save you and actually allow you to do the damage you need to do to make it work. So overall, the Galgathon is an interesting pack, but there's nothing here that is essential. This is a pack where... If you're on a budget, you can get by without this one, for sure. When the best card in this pack is the ship, and the next best card is probably Centurion, I'm not too worried about it, and I'm also not going to sugarcoat it and tell you guys that you gotta go get this. The, the reason you might want to go get this is to have a model for the Retag, but you can also accomplish that with the Vortivore. Now, what it is cool for is to play out some of the original series, missions, put Romulan ships on the board against the Enterprise, reenact the Enterprise incident, stuff like that. Um, all of that's well and good, but... You have to judge what that thematicism is worth to you in terms of pricing. For a completionist like me, sure, 
worth it to get one, um, but definitely nothing here that warrants multiple copies. Take that to heart, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, we'll see you around the shipyard. Take care.